to do that. Thank you. When Trevor Reed appeared Tuesday morning in a Russian courtroom on a TV monitor from his prison hospital. Well, obviously our hopes were up. His parents listening in from their home in Granbury admitted they were not expecting a miracle. They were just hoping after 970 days, he was doing okay. We're really concerned because he, he really looks thin. Uh, he, he just doesn't look like himself. The result, their son's case bounced to yet another Russian court as he tries to appeal his conviction and a sentence of nine years. Realistically, the only way he's coming home uh, anytime soon would be through some sort of negotiation between the governments. It's going to take more than just asking the Russians to do the right thing, obviously. And Trevor remains in prison for a crime he didn't commit. The U.S. ambassador to Russia was in the courtroom only able to see Trevor Reed on that TV monitor, too. I have no higher priority than Trevor and all the Americans who are detained here in Russia. Their, their welfare, their well-being uh, and justice for them is, uh, is my, my highest priority. A similar statement from the commissioner of the WNBA. Please know that getting her home safely continues to be our top priority. Talking about WNBA star Brittany Griner, her case being negotiated much quieter behind the scenes. But as for the Reeds... We're just going through this process in the appeals courts uh, to raise more attention to his case. Attention no more poignant than the photo Paula Reed tweeted this morning, their very first picture with their son when he was born. And she wrote, I never imagined this would be his future or ours all those many years ago. Tagging President Biden and Secretary of State Blinken, she wrote, please help him. After yet another day in Russian court, they wait for that help. Again, in Dallas. I'm Kevin Reese.